On July 30th, the monitoring group of human rights organizations held a press conference on the situation of human rights in the country at the Office of Women's Rights Protection Society. Human rights defender Navela Jafaroglu condemned the detention of her colleagues Leila and Arif Yunus. It was noted that the human rights situation in Azerbaijan is deteriorating. The arrests of civil society members, youth and political actors were decried. The imprisonment of Ganjabe's NGO leader Hassan Husseini on her Ganzim charge was strongly condemned. Husseini was characterized as an influential personality in his hometown. The press conference organizers said they have appealed to the presidential administration and prosecutor's office in connection with the fate of the 29 political prisoners whom they included in their list. But despite efforts, there are no positive outcomes. On the contrary, they have been new arrests. Musavat members Suraj and Faraj Karamo were detained on drug charge while former head of the party's regional branch Khagani Mamadov on hooliganism charge. The frequent use of drug and hooliganism charge against social and political actors was linked to political motives and corrupt interests behind court decisions. The use of most severe forms of penalties by law enforcement agencies towards citizens was stressed. The monitoring group has presented its list of political prisoners to the General Secretariat of the Council of Europe. Recent errors of bloggers for their activeness on social networks were considered as a violation of the right to freedom of expression. It was emphasized that even ordinary citizens faced injustice and ineffective protection of their rights. It was said to be the result of the lack of independent judiciary. Thus, a resident of Yelak region, Shahma Muhtarva, being pregnant, committed murder to defend herself against rape, but the court sentenced her to seven years in prison. As long as the court served the interests of corrupt officials, the situation will not improve, the human rights defender cited by Yarla said.